Don't buy a PRS guitar until you watch this video. Here are my three tips on things to look out for when buying a PRS guitar that could save you a lot of time, money, and just get you the best tone possible. So let's talk about it. First off, this is my small disclaimer. I'm not trying to knock a brand. I honestly think that PRS makes some of the most beautiful and quality guitars out there, but for some reason, the sound just doesn't sit with me sometimes. And I just wanna talk about my three tips that I would have liked to hear and just been aware of when going out and buying my PRS guitars. And just a little history, I've had about four or five PRS guitars. Most of them have been custom 24s with one of them being a PRS Silver Sky because I love John Mayer. And they are great instruments, like I said, and you could use all these three tips across any brand, Fender, Gibson, Sir, whatever it is, you could still use these tips but I do find that maybe they're just a little more prominent with PRS guitars. So in this video, no hate, I'm just talking about my personal experience. And please feel free to comment if you have something different to say or have any tips for other people to know. Tip number one, keep it simple. And what I mean by this is pickup switching. PRS guitars are great because they're so versatile. Most of their guitars have a five-way switch and some even go up to eight tonal options per guitar, which is what my last PRS was with the 2408 model. And honestly, they do have some models that are just the normal three-way switch, neck, both pickups and the bridge, which are great. But honestly, when I would play my custom 24, most of the time I just hang out on three or four sounds. And even then I still wasn't getting the sounds that I really wanted. And the reason being, maybe this is a hot take, but I just don't think a split or a coil tapped humbucker will ever sound as good as a true single coil pickup. I think PRS does a great job of that coil split sound, all that kind of stuff, as well as Sir, which is what I have right now. But I just really feel like nothing beats like an HSS style guitar. So a humbucker, single coil, single coil. But most of the PRS guitars, there are models that have the single coil option, but most of them do have the two humbuckers, at least in the custom 24 configuration that I do like. Versatility only goes so far, especially if you're gonna only use a few sounds. And even when you have those sounds, maybe they're just not the best. So with PRS guitars, keep it simple, less is more. I would honestly gravitate towards the five-way switch or the three-way switch and stay away from the eight tonal options. It's cool to have that versatility, but I had that guitar for about a year and honestly, I could tell you I didn't use half those sounds for longer than maybe a day. Tip number two, buy used. I think it's no secret if you are kind of buying guitars, PRS are very expensive, as well as Gibson and Fender custom shops. Things are just getting more expensive and more expensive. But with PRS guitars, it seems like they don't hold their value. It's kind of like the, the analogy of driving a car right off the lot. It's brand new on the lot, you just bought it. Right once you pull out, it drops by 30% or half its value. And I feel like that is really true with PRS. Same with Gibson and Fender, but I think that they retain their value just a bit more on the used market. So if you are one of those people who like to trade or sell like I do, you know, I think a lot of people say, ah, PRS guitars are a good investment, all that kind of stuff. and they. They are, I think any guitar is, but I don't think they hold up their value like the other brands do. So if you are interested in that and you're not sure if PRS is your forever guitar, then that's definitely something to look out for. If you're enjoying gear talks like these, I try to do them pretty often or whenever I get a question, so please subscribe for more content like this. Tip number three, go play it. And honestly, this is the most important one and this goes across all brands, all instruments, doesn't even have to be guitar, but any instrument that you're interested in, I promise you that the best thing you could do is go play it. And I'm not talking about just for five or 10 minutes, especially with things with the higher price tag like this, go play it for an hour or two. And I know I get a little nervous, like going into guitar shops and playing the same riff over and over, but honestly, you need to get sort of comfortable on a guitar as much as you can before you buy it, just so you don't go home and just have that buyer's remorse or 
worse, just figure out that that guitar is not the sound that you wanted or the feel that you wanted. So go to a music store, be ready to spend some time on that instrument and just see how you feel. Now this tip has two parts. If you can, do your best to go to a music store that has multiples of the same model. And I'm talking maybe like four or five of the same exact model if you can. That way you could play them back to back to hear exactly how they differ from each other. Now the electronics usually won't differ too much from guitar to guitar because those are machines, all that kind of stuff. And you know, they're all doing the thing, whatever the science it is behind that. Those are usually pretty consistent, but what does change is how they interact with the neck, the feel of the body, the resonance, all that kind of stuff, which is so important to the feel and sound of the guitar. And honestly, I've fallen into this trap so many times where I just buy online because it's so convenient, right? And you get to see exactly what you're getting. For instance, I love Sweetwater, not sponsored or anything like that, but I bought my last PRS off Sweetwater. And most manufacturers are doing such a good job of taking photos nowadays that you get to see your exact serialized guitar online. And you get to look at all these fancy, beautiful photos and you're like, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's awesome. And you get to pick exactly what you want, but I always forget and I just keep making that same mistake that what matters is when it's in my hands and plugged into the amp and I'm hearing it. So please don't make that same mistake. Get it in your hands, go to a music store and that way you could really hear the differences between each guitar. Now, like I said, no, no shade or hate towards PRS. I do think they're awesome guitars, but I just wanted to share my three tips that would have saved me just a lot of a lot of money, anger, frustration, whatever it is, would have saved me time and that I would have liked to hear when I first bought my first few PRS guitars. Please use these tips across all brands. And honestly, that's what I've used for my last Sir guitar. I got lucky and was able to play seven of them back to back and I finally got the right one that really worked for me. So go out, find that right guitar. I hope you find it. Let me know about any of your guitar buying tips for others to see as well. And just thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.